This is a free orchestra library, and it works with the free version of Contact, and this is how it sounds. This video is sponsored by DistroKid. Follow the VIP link in the description down below to get 7% off an already amazing price to distribute your music to the world. So the library we're gonna be looking at is called the Orchestra Elements from Sonia Score. And I wanna start off by trying to recreate my experience using this for the first time just yesterday, okay? And that's to show you just how quickly you can get up and running with this library with something very usable. So for whatever reason, I randomly chose this preset to start off with. It's called Hidden Sanctuary. Don't know why I chose that one, but that's what I chose. And I played one single note on my keyboard. It sounded like this. And I thought, well, that's rather nice. I wonder if it's velocity sensitive. So I played soft and loud. No, it's not velocity sensitive. So I knew the usual thing with these types of libraries is to grab your mod wheel and use that for expression instead of velocity. So I did that and see if you can hear what I heard as I kind of increase the expression here. Did you notice there's lots of layers in there? And what I actually did was kind of increase the volume of the harp, but kind of left the strings roughly the same. And I thought, well, that's rather nice. I'm gonna experiment with that. And this honestly is the very first thing I played. I'm a very basic player. So it's just like three chords with some simple variations on the first chord. And it sounded like this. I've got to say, with some pretty basic playing on my part, I was very, very pleased with that. And to be honest with you, if that was the only thing that was available for free, just that one preset, I think it would be worth the download. But there's so much more to this library than that. I think we better start off though with the basics. So if we take a look at the preset I was using, you can see that it's made up of five different instrument slots that we can see here. Now, if we go ahead and actually click on the preset name, then we can see the whole library that's available to us. Now, we can filter things out from the presets that we're seeing here by clicking on various different things here. So I'm gonna select by character, for example, I'll click on the magical tag here, and we can see the four presets here which have that tag applied to them. Click on it again, and we go back to seeing the full library. Now, if you'll notice, there are some things which are grayed out here, and that's because there is a full paid version of this library, which I think has, like, the full version has over 600 presets. Um, our free version, though, still has 30 presets, which we can change, etc. so it's still very, very good. Now, one simple way that we can select different presets is by category. There's three different categories. I'm going to start off with the orchestral voicings. This has four or three different main sections that we can select from, strings, wood, and brass, and we've got some variations on each of those. And also we can select uh, the whole orchestra as well. So let's just have a quick listen to, say, staccato strings here. We'll give that a try. Now with these short sounds, they do tend to be velocity sensitive and with the longer ones, you tend to have to use the mod wheel for expression. Let's try out um, the strings, uh, the full strings. Let's have a listen. Pretty decent in my opinion. Let's try out some brass. We'll try the full brass sustain, so. Got 
a thing about suspended chords today. So yeah, nice somber sound, sounding brass there. And finally, let's just try the whole orchestra with the sustained sound. So. Not bad at all. So there's some pretty decent basic sounds there. Um, if we go to the mixer section, then you'll find with whatever preset you've selected that you can then sort of mix and blend those various different instruments that are in there. Um, there's also a couple of equalizers you can choose from, a compressor and a reverb as well. But if we go back and look at the sort of main library page here, you can see there's another couple of categories. And that for me is where things get a little bit more exciting. Let's take Take a look at orchestral rhythms. So in the orchestral rhythms category, we still have the main sections of the orchestra. So strings, woodwind, brass, and some mixed things there. But these presets, as the name suggests, all have a rhythmic quality to them. So if, for example, I choose strings basic triplets here and have a listen to that, it sounds like this. Lovely, like that a lot. Let's try um, mixed uh, basics. This is eighths. We'll have a listen to this. You get the idea. Now, if we take a look at that preset uh, back on the sort of main page, you can see that with each of the instruments that are in its sort of layers, it has uh, an arpeggiator applied. So arpeggiator one, two, and three are applied here. Now we get to those in the engine section. So I'll click on that and you can see the different arpeggiators listed at the top here. And you can see all of the controls for those down below. Now I'm not gonna go through this in kind of detail, but you've got the arpeggiator section, you've got various different ways of playing, say, you know, up and down arpeggios, depending on the chords you're playing. You can see all of that there. And then you've got your rhythm section where you can sort of emphasize particular beats, if you'd like, of the arpeggiator loop that it's playing. So you can get a, a lot of really nice sort of feel to what you're doing. So that's essentially how the rhythm category works. Um, the final category though uses the rhythm part of this or the arpeggiator but something else as well and these are called the animated orchestra presets. <laughs> now I just want to make perfectly clear that this video is not sponsored by Sonuscore. They probably don't even know who I am and they certainly don't know I'm making this video. However it is sponsored by DistroKid. If you want to release your music to major platforms like Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, etc. Then follow the VIP link in the description down below and you'll get 7% off of your first year of membership. So the final category, Animated Orchestra, is definitely my favourite. Let's go for something random here. Uh, leaving the bass sounds good. Have a listen to this. I mean, what is not to like about that? I really do like it. And we'll go again back to our first one that we tried, Hidden Sanctuary, because I want to show you with this um, how everything was kind of made up. Okay, so that's how it was sounding. If we go back to the um, actual main page here and take a look at the different layers that we have in here. We can see the first one, just like our rhythmic presets, uh, was using the arpeggiator. But all of the strings and horns and cello here are using an envelope or envelope, depending on which part of the world you come from. So if we go back into our engine section again, you can see there's two different envelopes. The first one here looks like this. I think this was being used um, by some of the strings and the second one here by the others. So as I now just play that single note again, have a look at what's sort of happening with the envelope here. So it has a lovely way of kind of creating a, a bit of a swell there with those strings. And that's basically 
um, what these presets are made up of, a combination of the arpeggiator and the envelope. Now, as I said before, this video is not sponsored in any way by Sonuscore. However, I do think it's worth mentioning that although this is probably one of the best free libraries I've ever tried out on this channel in six years, for sure, there are some paid versions and there's a sale on at the moment. The cheapest of those paid versions is only $49. And with that, you get like 99 presets and a few extra sounds and things. So definitely worth checking out the link down below for the free version and then maybe taking a look at some of the paid versions as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Mike and I do hope you're well.